Good morning. Welcome to Some Good Vibes. So this morning I want to share a very personal story with you. As I was thinking about the good vibes and, and just making sure that we share the right messages, one of the things that I thought about was really being true to your own values and living an authentic life. So for me, one of the things that I wanted to talk about was a value that's very important to me, and that is my faith. So I'm going to share with you a story about when I realized that faith was such a significant piece of my life. So my brother and I grew up on a dairy farm, about 400 people in town. We lived outside of town, and it was really a small community, very small graduating class, the whole thing. And it was probably, I would say, I was maybe in fourth grade, and my brother Doug was in third grade. And the thing that we looked the most forward to was 4-H, because that was really all we had. We didn't have dance. We didn't have all the things that the kids have now, so we had 4-H. So we could not wait for anything as it related to 4-H, whether it was the meetings or uh, the fair or all the things that go with being in 4-H. Well, it was in December and it was time to have the uh, 4-H Christmas party, something we really looked forward to because we got to be with all of our friends and it was always, we had presents and had fun. And of course, at seven and eight years old, you're really excited about all of that, right? So I remember in the morning, it was in December, it was really, really icy. And we lived on a ridge, so going anywhere in ice was never a very good idea. But of course, all we were focused on was the fact that that Christmas party was at night, and we really, really wanted to go to the Christmas party. So um, my mom or my dad, I can't remember for sure which one, said, the only way that you can go is if it snows and the ice isn't so, it's not so glare ice. So without talking to each other, my brother and I both snuck into our bedrooms and we both prayed for snow. And at six o'clock, it started to snow. And there was no snow in the forecast and it was clear skies. And that's when I realized as a really young girl that there was this person, God, who was going to take care of me and do something miraculous when, when it was important to me or when it was something that I just need help with. And what I will tell you is, whether you believe in a higher power or not, having something that you can hang on to that really helps you from a values perspective to stay, stay centered, I can't tell you how many times I just feel like I don't have a clue what I'm doing. And I will pray about it and something will happen and I will get clarity around whatever that is. So I wanted to share that story with you, and I'm going to ask a favor of you. I want you to share your stories with me. I don't have to use your name. I don't have to tell anything that would give away who you are, but I would love to share faith-based stories of different things that's happened to you that have really made a difference in your life. Now, that might be a simple thing of being able to go to the 4-H to the Christmas party, but it wasn't about that. It was about the fact that without talking to each other, we did this and then later on compared notes and, and we're just really in awe of what something so simple and that faith in, in being able to just ask for help, what it did for our life. It created this whole foundation of a faith-based life for the rest of our lives. So I hope you enjoy that story. I know it's very personal um, and I look forward to reading your stories. The email, my email will be in the social. So please feel free to send me your stories via email and make it a great day.